Hey friends, so this is kind of a new setup and a new thought for me that I decided to just give a whirl and try, and I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're gonna try it for today's Tuesday tutorial. Now, it is late Monday night, like bedtime. I already washed my face, I actually already got a bath, and I'm in pajamas, but I came down here to work on a project, and it actually wasn't going to be this week's Tuesday tutorial, but I just thought I had to share it because I just got some new stamp sets from close to my heart that I couldn't wait to work with. I actually have a whole big huge box of all the new stuff for from the new Inspirations catalog. It's only available through March or the catalog is through March of this year. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into all that, but I got this really awesome new gift. I, I got it for Christmas. This is a new journal, um, but it's not lined. Like it's like a sketchbook journal, which I'm obsessed with. I have an addiction problem to especially sketchbook journals. I am not an artist sketchy person at all, but what I do love to do is just get really creative, no lines, big fonts, that kind of thing, especially when it comes to Bible verses and stuff. So, um, like, I use this She Will Be Blessed and like filled up a page. But I've been using it for my daily threes this year. I thought I'd get a little bit more creative with my daily threes and put in pictures and do a little bit more of a scrapbooky kind of thing. This was a Christmas gift from Carmen. So I'm obsessed, I need to get more. And it's different, it's kind of burlap, but it has that chevron. But um, a couple times now, because it's, it's I'm silly, I picked it up and like couldn't figure out front and back like what way it goes. So I decided I want to decorate the front and that's what I'm going to show you guys today using my new stamps and um, just some other goodies. So let's just have fun creating um, late night crafting at home with Megan. So let's get started. All right, I have the journal here and I love it. And these are the two stamp sets that I decided to use. This one's called A Thing Well Done. It's actually a Hostess Reward exclusive. And I have a couple ways that you can get it. Um, so message me or get in touch with me if you're interested. And then this is a new one called Doodle Designs Flare. And it's just a really cute, it's a little arrow, a little mini heart, and a little star with kind of a swirly circle. I loved it. I thought it was very cute and creative. And it's a, it's a A size stamp set, so it's really reasonable. And I love the two quotes on here. I love the butterfly on here. And I actually really like the gears. It has a little bit of a Tim Holtz feel with some of it. Um, I don't know, but I love this. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. It's perfect for my journal. Completely perfect for my journal. So let's, um, I grabbed a manila tag. I have three different colors of ink, black slate and desert sand. I also have my pen jar. I'm obsessed with colored pens. I need to get, actually, and honestly I do, because the ones that, the only ones that I have left that work are these four ultra fine gels in purple, lime, and pink, and the, you know, these four. And these are what I use most because they don't bleed through paper like this. I love them and they, they just write so smooth. So I need to get more of these. But I also use from time to time my fine Sharpies, um, my, y'all know I love my big market markers. I have the big huge set of market markers. But sometimes I, I like more the pen writing. These are also markers from Faber-Castell, whatever. I wanna add some bling to this and I wanna make sure that I'm clearly marking what is the front of my journal. So I wanted to use this tag on the front. I'm going to cut it down. And so I'm just gonna grab my paper trimmer. I'm gonna trim off about one inch. One inch should be plenty. Now I want to make it a little bit different. So I'm gonna use my co uh, one quarter inch round setting on my corner chopper and make sure I get a nice rounded corner, but not too round that it takes away, but it just gives a little bit more finish to it than being straight. Even though the original was straight, I like to do something a little bit different there. All right, so then what I'm going to do with this, I'm gonna decorate this up. I actually have some Tim Holtz Distress Stain in Picket Fence. This is white, um, and it's just going to give a little something to it. So I'm gonna shake it up really good, and I'm gonna set it aside to let it dry. So I'm gonna just start by smearing it on here in just a swirly pattern. And going up over this part of the tag, dabbing it a little bit, get some of that 
And then I'm just gonna let that dry. You can heat set it as well. You're not gonna see a ton of it. It's just giving a little bit of like a different color contrast in there. And then we're going to ink the edges of this. So I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. I'm gonna let that dry. And I wanna use some of the Close to My Heart Twill uh, Stripped Ribbon up the side, okay? It's, again, just giving a little something different to it. Um, and then actually kind of what I thought I could use then is use this as a bookmark inside and I will show you how I think I'm going to do it and I hope you can just give me a minute to figure that out. Basically, yeah, I want it to end kind of there so I'm going to grab my scissors. What I'm going to do is grab my heat, my heat gun. I'm going to melt the edges of the ribbon just a little bit so turn it on. Be careful not to catch it on fire, but you're just gonna melt the fibers along the edge. I got a slight discoloration there, but I'm okay with that. For this particular project anyway. Now I need to use the Extreme Tack from Blue Arts, that's going to be pretty much the only thing that's going to really hold that down and in place where I need it to be. So I'm going to go right along, I'll put my ribbon down on my table. I'm gonna go right along my ribbon about the length that this is. Because this is a textured, non-porous surface with the burlap, you're going to need a lot of adhesive. So I'm going to go from here all the way up the side binding and make sure it's got full coverage on that whole stretch of ribbon. Now I'm actually going to tuck it right here and if I need to, which I think I do because of, like I said, what it is. And I'm gonna grab some adhesive squares. I'm actually just going to grab one off the roll. This is a new roll, so Yeek. I'm gonna roll it. And even though there's adhesive down there, I'm actually gonna lift that up a little bit. I'm gonna put adhesive right around this bottom edge make sure it's really kept into place and not frayed or anything like that. Now I can use this top part, actually if I want, and I probably should again, I'm gonna take a little bit more the Extreme Tack Adhesive Square just to wrap around that top edge. I wanna be extreme about my adhesive on this. Okay, now I can use this as my bookmark. Okay, so for wherever I am, I can stick it in and I'm good to go. Step further, I wanted to add some glittery bling. So this is some shimmer twine, again with close to my heart. I'm going to wrap this inside the binding. And I'm gonna go on the inside of this ribbon. Now if I find that this ribbon just starts annoying me and isn't really doing what I need it to do, isn't keeping a good bookmark, it's getting destroyed, what I'll do is just cut it off at the top and tuck it like I did the other. The bookmark intention is there, it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to work for this kind of thing. Solid idea, but we'll try it. So I'm just gonna wrap this around a couple times. I'll save that, cut this off, and then just let it be frayed and cute and shimmery there. And actually, I'm already not sure I'm loving this idea, but we'll give it a try. We'll see how it plays out in the end. Okay. All right, now that part of the tag's dry, I'm gonna take desert sand, and I'm just going to open it up and brush around the edges. And 
and a little like just quick touch dabble for a little highs and lows. Nothing extreme, okay? So I'm just quickly holding my hand and then that'll give me some highs and low points of what that'll end up looking like, okay? Got that? And you can see the white underneath there really well. Picket fence. And actually I'm gonna leave this open because this is the color I'm gonna stamp in. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Love that. Okay, so now this is gonna go on here. Right there. Now I wanna do this and the butterfly. I need both. <laughs> These little gears, I, I love this stamp set. I'm like, I'm sad it's only a Hostess exclusive, but excited that it is too. Cause like I said, I can help you get it in many ways. I will help you. If you want this set and you wanna start working with it, I will help you. I want this swirly edge more than anything else. So I'm going to kind of take it up around here and like this on there. And then this side where there's a little bit more of the gear and again, it's swirled, but I'm gonna go down here. And then I want the butterfly. So for the butterfly, the butterfly, it's just gonna kinda come down here and it's just gonna kinda be the left wing and a little bit of the right coming off that you see it's a butterfly, but, and actually if I wanted to, well and I do, I'm going to, I can grab a little bit more of it down here on this side. I'm glad I didn't drop that someplace else. That's awesome. Oh, you know, I cut that twine. Let's do a little bit of twine around here, shall we? Again, a little bit more shimmer, but it's not like overkill sparkle. I mean, I love my sparkles and all. So I'm putting it through as a loop, pulling it out. And I'm debating adding the flower and coloring the flower, but I don't know if I want too much dimension and texture because I want it to be able to go in and out of my bag and I'm afraid that'll look destroyed really quickly. Maybe if anything, I could add a little bit of wood. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not really thrilled with that. I just really like the tag. Let's add the tag on and then decide if we want to do something else. A ton of extreme tack adhesive, like edge to edge, because it's going to get wear and tear, or at least for me it is. I mean, this doesn't just sit on my, sit on a desk somewhere and look pretty. This is going with me in my bag, in my purse, in my whatever, on the front seat to school. Um, that's what happens with these journals for me. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna actually grab one adhesive square for the top where I have the ribbon and there's the hole. I think that needs to be a little shorter too. Like that. And then that can be kind of, you know, a little bit more dimension and texture and something to it. I really did have this idea of using that circle and everything and maybe doing it up here or off to the side here. Like I thought another butterfly, I wonder if a butterfly would stamp on there without ruining it. And I shouldn't, I don't wanna try it cause I don't wanna ruin it, it's too pretty. I'm actually just gonna leave it be at that for today. If I were to add a flower, you could do something down here. I'm just gonna keep it simple, like simpler. 
and let that be it for today. So get to doing a daily three, get to doing something fun and creative, dress up your your notebooks and things, and even just plain school notebooks, you know, the 50 cent, 70 cent dollar notebooks you pick up with 70 sheets in it, you can dress them up and make them something special. You don't have to spend a lot of money to go out and keep track of the three things you're most thankful for. Keep track of the three action steps, small goals that you can accomplish today, and then write down the three big things for your future to start living the life you've imagined. Enjoy the moments, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching another Above Ruby Studio video. I am Megan Elizabeth and I really hope that you go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Come on over to AboveRubyStudio.com, get in touch with me through the contact form at any time and I will get right on back to you. Two other channels you can go ahead and check out. Have an awesome day and thanks again. Enjoy the moments.